Close. Oh! I almost okay. read that. Who's the beast? <laughs> Bro, how how have these guys not forfeit yet? I'm sorry. At this point, I would have forfeit like four goals ago. Oh, the good double jump. This is Rocket League. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Thank you for clarifying. I, I thought it was Halo. <laughs> I thought I was playing Skyrim. Oh, no. <laughs> That's just some really heavily modded Skyrim. Hey, I could mod the shit out of Skyrim. This have probably. It's fine. There's mods for everything in Skyrim. Accurate. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh oh. That's on. Uh, I was honestly gonna. Uh, I was gonna like force it in. I was gonna own goal one. That was a pretty good shot, though. To be fair, but yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, direct center. So good aim. <laughs> Good aim, good aim. Boop. I missed. Oops. Ah, that's bad. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. Yo, he's trying to own you? goal. He's trying <laughs> to own oh, goal. Boy. Ain't no way. I don't know, his, yeah, say his clear, like, I don't know where he's going with that, but I was like, thank you? I'm like already there waiting for it, but okay. Are you like, live, Ghost? Nice. I am. He is live. You are? Yes. Yes. Hi, Mira. Cool. Hi. When did you get here? Just she just now. popped in. Two seconds ago. Oh. Why don't I hear when people join anymore? Because you probably don't, don't have the notification can... system turned on. Uh... If you have streamer oh. mode enabled, you won't get pings. I forgot that I had bubbles for my, like, jets, and I was like, why are there bubbles? <laughs> Unless you turn that bubbles. feature on. And then I had recalled that I had bubble jets, so. Oh my gosh, he freaking got, took the boost, and I missed the boost. Okay. My epic save. <laughs> epic save. Well, all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. See we you in a minute.
Welcome readers from... Look at us, thanks Chris. <coughs> Sorry, I stepped away. Ugh, okay. Alrighty. Do you mind sharing the Discord screen? Yes. I do mind, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright. Everyone, congrats on being important as new. It's the first time I've visited. Let me give you a rundown of some requests. Come by the reception desk. Rebecca. Reception desk? Yup. I gotta go to the CPD. So this whole thing is just a big internal memo system, huh? I guess now. We just gotta head down to HQ and get the details, right? Yeah, sounds like it. I think I'm finally starting to get a grasp on what the Orville Network is all about. Sorry, my stream was in 360p and I got annoyed by it. Okay. <laughs> Mine's been defaulting to that lately. I don't know why. I don't know why. I was like, why is it so blurry? Like, Twitch in general has been, been doing like, that lately. which are purely auditory, the orbital network can transmit text and images. Welcome to the internet. Take a look <laughs> around. <laughs> I've heard about it before, but now that I've seen it in practice, I can certainly see how it would be advantageous in all sorts of situations. Yes, as we speak, beta testing is being conducted throughout Crossbell State. The system the p police department has implemented is one such example. So, I hear the guild has already started experimenting with terminal systems too. That should be enough to get you started. How about I let you guys work that support request that just came in? Understood. But, uh, what do we do after that? Uh, look, <coughs> do whatever you feel like. But uh, you can bet that the uh, real request will start pouring in after you lecture at HQ is over. Let's see. Considering this is your first assignment, try completing this as a statement to HQ saying that you're capable of police work. Well, that should shut them up for a while. Is that really all it's going to take? Oh, and Lloyd, why don't you give everyone a tour of the city on the way there? A tour of the city? Why? Well, you'll be the ones protecting the place, so it only makes sense for you to all learn just what kind of place it is. Oh. Be sure to stop by the weapons shop and marble store right outside. Those police officers, those places will be pretty handy in the future. Understood. We'll make sure to pay them a visit. I'll be in my office most of the time. I'll be either reading a magazine or taking a nap. If you got any problems, don't bother me. You're smart kids, so figure it out yourselves. And off you go. Wait a minute. There goes our boss, everyone. Ah, <sighs> are we really going to be okay? I fear the road ahead of us will be difficult. I anyway, this is our first real assignment. Let's walk around the city for a bit, and then take care of that support request. We need to rush just because it's our first official mission. Let's take our time and get a feel for things. I agree. Understood. Time to hit the road then.
Hold on. You expect to turn off the SSS and choose check request. It'll okay. Same kind of situation as what the uh, we my glasses. the thing of Bob's did. Uh. Bulletin boards. Yes. Thank you. I was like, the thing of Bob's. <laughs> you know, the thing of Bob's. The glasses were in their glasses case. How did they get so smeary? I don't understand. Uh, it's a great question. <laughs> ah, now I can see. Okay. Ah. What are you doing, computer? Behave. Go ahead, ghost. Alright. As much as I want to welcome you in to have a look around, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Can't buy a weapon and crossbow without a license, kids. So, if this is a prank, then beat it. We're actually from the CPD, sir. Sorry for the confusion. Y'all are police officers? Oh, you must be those kids Sergey was told me about. Hmm. All right. Feel free to take a look around the shop. When you're ready to check out, show me your detective notebook. That'll substitute as license. Oh yeah, some engineer-looking guy stopped by recently. That's something called an horrible staff with me. That is some fancy new weapon, but. Who the heck would I ever sell a fishy thing like this to? An orbital staff, you said? That's what you use, right, Tia? I was under the impression <coughs> that it was still in the testing phase of its development, though. Forget who you're selling it to. How are you even able to sell it in the first place? You said the man looked like an engineer? I'll admit this whole thing is setting off quite a few alarm bells for me. Actually, that man might have been my boss. Your boss, huh? From the Foundation? Yes, exactly. He may have come to drop off a newer model of the Orbal Staff for me to test. Though I can hardly fathom why he would not just give it to me himself. Um, yeah. Gotta say I'm just as stumped over this one. Not sure what the deal with this thing is, but I can sell it to the girl, right? Go on and buy it then. I already had to pay for the shipment. That's rude. Alright.
I'm just gonna buy four of all these because I don't know which one I'm gonna need. You know, and I got the money. Somehow we got the money. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Shh. Totally legit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all those, all those, uh. Hmm. Shh. So much grinding that uh, ghosted off of offline, right? Yeah. All the grinding. So much grinding. Ah. No, on Ellie, I want to give her seal and mute. <laughs>can't whistle really well it doesn't it doesn't work with my mouth which is sad i used to be able to whistle really well mm. it's very sad I, I miss whistling it's, it's a lot harder to do i can still do it it's just not as good I don't let me unlock the door, Lloyd. <laughs> Central Square. Look at their cars. This place is as busy as ever. Well, that's no surprise, given how this is more or less the heart of the city. Look at those stores and restaurants. You can get all your essentials here. It also acts as a hub leading to the other districts, so if you're in a hurry. And it's only gotten busier with the recent surge in orbital vehicles. Sure looks that way. Okay, everyone. How about we drive by the orbital store next? You mean that Orwell factory the Chief mentioned? Word around town is that the whole place got a huge makeover. Real fancy now. Indeed. This new type of factory focuses more on commercialized Orbital products. They have formal con they have a formal contract with the CPD as well. We should be able to rely on them for any of our orbital needs. If that's the case, I'm sure it won't be long before we're regulars there. So, should we stop by before going to the other districts? Yeah, it should be that corner building over there. Central Squares, the central part of the city. We're going to go in here. This is where we can buy food. Oh. Yes, herbal food. Perfect. Item shop. Let's just buy like ten of these. And then buy like ten of those. And buy our crossbell times. Oh, we can read about how badly they talked about us. Perfect. Uh huh. I mean, we can buy two of these one for Randy, one for the flower pumps. You gotta get some of those. 
All right. Nope, not so. Bye. Wants to be Prada. I can be Prada. Welcome to Luca Boutique. We have every style of clothing you could ever ask for, from children's clothes to fancy business suits. Do not hesitate to ask me for assistance. Yeah. Movement plus two. We're just gonna buy four of them. Perfect tail. I can't do that. Can't roll my R's. All right, that's really all we need to do in here. It's just the department store. Here, however. Look at the new model of car. Uh -huh. Wow. So this is that Orwell store people have been talking about. From the biggest Orwell car to the smallest ornament, they have it all. On top of that, their new redesign gives off that sleek and modern feeling, doesn't it? Hard to believe this was just a simple factory three years ago. Anyway, you should look for a technician to adjust their ornaments. If I recall correctly, there should be a support counter over there. They'll be able to handle any adjustments to our ornaments that we may need. Alright, let's check out the counter then. Okay, hold on. I took a bite of chocolate, so give me a shot. Oh, I don't blame you. I got, like, that one lady in Monsters, Inc. What, like, vibes from this person, and I don't know why. Ed? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what was their name? Like the crabby one. That's yeah. Like, Mark Wazowski. I'm yeah. not always watching. <laughs> like, I'm not always watching. Watch watch I don't know Wazowski. why. Welcome to Gen 10. <laughs> this is the customer <laughs> service desk. For maintaining of your orbal goods, please step right over to the other counter. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I can go for Wendy. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Jenton Orbal Factory. Shoot. I mean, welcome to Chance and Orville's store! Oh, no way! Lloyd, is that really you? Wendy? What are you doing in a place like this? Um, how rude! Can't you tell? I'd say it's pretty clear on the engineer of the store. Uh, seriously? Now you mentioned you were looking for a job in your letters. I surely wasn't expecting to run into you like this. Oh, this lovely lady is an old friend of yours, Lloyd? I'm a little jealous. What do you say we have ourselves a fun little date once your ship's over? Now isn't the time for this, Randy. We're on duty for crying out loud. It's nice to meet you, Wendy. I've heard great things about Jenton, but the rumors don't do it justice. Oh, are you guys Lloyd's colleagues? <laughs> well... 
To be honest, the shop's whole look is just the manager's personal taste. Oh, and I should have mentioned this sooner, but this is the customer service counter. From here, we can provide maintenance for all your orbit's needs. Alright. We're leaving our orbits in your capable hands from now on, Wendy. Oh, our orbits are the Enigma models. Is that going to be an issue? Oh, wow! So you guys got your hands on the brand new models, huh? I've got you covered! I should have the tools for them right here. I have a few regulars that use that model, too. Man, bracers sure love their ornaments. R really? So the Bracer Guild's connections have allowed them to acquire cutting-edge technology as well. Is that that much of a surprise? I don't know why that's so surprising. Haha, <laughs> damn. Those braces really are always ahead of the curve, huh? They're an international organization. Like, well-connected international organization. <laughs> yes, a very well connected. They literally have two of the most popular bracers in, well, actually they have like six of the most popular bracers in the borough, all personally know one of the princes of Erebonia. <laughs> two people in uh, Calvar that know the prince, like... They have connections with Zeiss and Central Factory. So, and yeah, the Zeiss and FTM Foundation. Like, they got people they know. Like, I don't know why this is a surprise to everybody. This isn't a laughing matter, Randy. Wow. I, matter, Randy. A uh, uh, Randy matter. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't laughing, Randy uh, matter. Please. Anyway, please don't let us get in the way of your work. We just thought we'd pop in and check the place out. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on, so we'll be counting on you, Wendy. No problem. Leave everything to me. Whenever you get that itch to modify your orbit, just let me know and I'll get you all set up. Also, if you have any general questions about your orbits, just ask away. You're speaking to an arbol pro, after all. You select. Yep. I apologize for that voice, but, you know, I was going that for it. That is a so. fantastic voice. I don't know where you got it from, <laughs> but I love I I was trying to channel my co-worker's conversation with a different person in, in the hospital whose description was helium something, and I forget what she said, but I was going for that. Let's make two of all of them. give you HP attack evade impede hit and move well, you have evade we're gonna give you shield AP cut action I guess you're getting the other move We, for now, we can give you those. I'm going to have to make more of these. Didn't think I was going to need to, but that's okay.
Alright, Randy's already got attack one, so I'm gonna have to... Uh, not exchange. We'll give him defense. HP. Evade. Action. Hit. Impede. Let's see how that gets him. Nice. All right. Now we head out here and we're going to go this way to West Street. And there's our kiddos running around. They're speedy. Well, I was on high speed mode. Oh, well. <coughs> I believe this area is known as West Street. Yep. One of the larger residential areas in the city. Just look at all the apartments. You guys wouldn't mind. I actually know a few people here that I'd love to catch up with. I take it you grew up around these parts then. Hell. We're already here. May as well do some meet and greet before we head out. I'm sure you've been longing to see your friends and family. We can accompany you too. Thanks, guys. I should swing by Belheim to visit Auntie. I could probably find Oscar working at Morgan's too. West Street is residential. Why'd you walk back this way? Hey, Oscar! By the way, Better. the two people we're going to meet in the store are the best. That's all I'm saying. Okay. They are so cool. They're so fun. These two characters. You'll see. You won't see it right away, but you'll see. Are they both guys or what? Uh, no, one's one a guy, one's a girl. This is a guy. This is Oscar. But there will mm -hmm. be a female character as well. Would you prefer to? Do you want to do Oscar? Or you want me to? No, I don't. I don't care who does him. I'm just letting you know that he's a, he's a cool character. He's a fun character. I already gave it to you in my brain center, so just so you know. That, okay. She's the record keeper, so you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't write it down yet, but you know. Well, if it is my man Lloyd. So, you finally decided to stop by and visit your old buddy Oscar, eh? You really know how to keep a guy waiting. What, it's been like a year since we last hung out? Uh, Oscar, it's been three years already. Man, that fuzzy memory of yours hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Bruh. Blame the fact that we keep, kept sending letters to each other. <laughs> Never really felt like you were gone for that long, you know. And besides, you might have gotten a bit taller, but I see you still have, haven't outgrown that precious little baby face. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> oh, and that palette's only proven him right. <laughs> um, um. You must be an old friend of Lloyd's then. Like, that's not helping Mira's headcanon for this at all. <laughs> what? Her, him talking about the PA face and she goes, <laughs> um, um, what? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yep, the oldest. Name's Oscar. I work as an apprentice here at Morge's Bakery. And you three are Lloyd's co-workers? Yep. The name is Randy. Nice to meet you. I'm Ellie. Tio Plato. Nice to meet you guys. You could tell we work together even though we aren't wearing uniforms. Sometimes I can't tell whether he's completely oblivious or a lot sharper than he lets on. Something wrong? I can just see the gear is spinning around your head. 
Oh yeah, you still cook, Lloyd? Huh? I mean, a little bit, I guess. I'd help my uncle with chores, so that meant cooking every so often. Then take this as a reunion gift from yours truly. Hope you'll get some use out of it. Recipe book. How about I teach you how to make a killer sandwich while you're here? Trust me, it's as easy as pie. It's the perfect recipe to get you in the swing of things. Okay, but pie is not actually all that easy. Also, this is a bakery. Why are you making sandwiches? Have you never had a sandwich from a bakery? He looks like he's behind a deli counter, though, too, so... I mean, I don't eat that many sandwiches, so no. But also, like, bakeries oh, well, I associate okay. with, like, Fair. baked goods. It's actually True. not super uncommon for bakeries. Like, think of, like, a Panera Bread. They're a bakery, technically. Technically, but they're also a restaurant. It's not the same. It's actually pretty common to have, bake at least in this area, there's a number of places that are bakeries that have, like... Like, it's not like full on meals necessarily, but like, they're like little sandwiches and things. You I feel like up. there, I guess, well, isn't it most Eastern like bakeries, a lot of breads and stuff like that mainly? Versus like, if you want like baked goods, like sweets and stuff like that, you go to a patissiere. Which yeah. Which is a completely different thing. That's fancy. Yeah. It's like a whole, it's like a different shop. Yeah. It's literally a pastry shop, is what it is. Yeah. yeah out in the boondocks of Illinois. We don't have those here. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is America. We don't want to do that. We combined. Yeah. You realize I also live in America and we have bakeries that do this. <laughs> Happy ham sandwich. Thanks, Oscar. Wow, this is a nice gift. You know, it's plenty of room to write down variations of different recipes. And with all you guys sharing it, I'm sure each of you will come up with your own spin on things. How do you get a kick out of it? It'll certainly keep us well fed. It's a little embarrassing, but the only cooking I've ever really done is baking desserts. What about you two? <laughs> well, I can only roast and boil stuff. Uh, you know, food you'd have uh, camping out in the wilderness. If a recipe has a clear and concise protocol I can follow, I can manage. If you're interested, I'd be happy to teach you a thing or two. Sometimes you can look at recipes, they're recorded in the notebook. If you're recipes, there's a chance to get a supreme or peculiar variants of dishes now. It's not always going to succeed cooking. You now have variations of recipes. It's the first game that introduces this. And this will continue through the rest of the series. Those are greens are sold at stores and you can pick them up from various monster drops. Ah, I guess the girl's not here. Is it you? Oh, this one. This is the girl. She just, I thought she'd introduced it in the scene, but she doesn't. She's just here. But she is also, she is the, the girl in the two. So, we will, we will talk to her a few times. Okay. So, any some... direction as far as personality? <laughs> um... So she has the, let me think. She has a softer approach, but a similar kind of abrasive way of speaking like Josette. Hmm. But she does it in a much softer, like she doesn't, She's not a harsh speaker, but she does speak very blatant as what okay. she's. I, I, I think I, I think I got this. I guess that'd be a good way of putting Yeah, that's about, about the best way I can describe her. Welcome. Please head over to the register if you're ready to be rung up. That's all it is, Excellent. but we will see her more. I promise. 
Is he back there? No. I will just net. Alright. It has been designated. Oh. Oh. Aha! Aha! A chest. <laughs> A chest. Wait, you don't live in Villa Raisins. Get out of here. <laughs> You're trespassing. <laughs> Says the chest. Security chest. <coughs> Uh oh. Okay. We actually will go back we'll backtrack briefly to the other place and go meet the people that he was going to meet. This is Crosswell's northwestern district. Been home to upper class families for as long as I can remember. Got them big ass mansions around here. Yeah. Ellie is acting strange. Residential district. Just a quiet district. No special factories. Not that she has people who live there or anything that she knows or she has a house there. No, no, not at all. Hey, now we can go in and out of those. Stupid door. Wow. Windows. With light effect. And particles. Don't mind us. We're just going to go walk into this random room. It's oh. late. I, don't, I, I actually don't know how you pronounce her name. I've Lete? always called her Late. Late? Late, maybe. I always called her Late. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so. Whatever. Lay White? Uh, Lay White. <laughs> Lay White. <laughs> <coughs> well, I said, oh, but I don't have to take the voice, but I can if I, I, get, I guess so. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Is that really you, Lloyd? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm home, Auntie. Late. Sorry it took so long for me to visit. Really should have been the first thing I did. Is there like a certain voice for this person, or am I? I have go for no it? idea. Okay. Oh, Lloyd, you finally come home. I'd heard through the grapevine that you were able to get a job at the CPD. How is it? Have you already started work? It's fine so far. Might be a bit too easy going for my taste, though. Our chief kind of just lets us do our own thing. Really? That sounds like an enjoyable place to work for me. Honestly, I'm just happy to see you looking healthy and cheery again. I'll have to thank Adios next time I'm at the cathedral. Lloyd, if you ever need anything while you're living in the dorms, you'd better let me know right away. Your auntie will be there in a flash if you ever need anything. Come on, auntie. I'm not a little kid anymore. Besides, I've been living in a dorm since I was enrolled at the police academy. Oh, don't be such a stranger, Lloyd. You just came home. Don't be afraid to rely on your auntie to help you out. S sorry, auntie. I'll be sure to drop by again soon. Bring some desserts and we can catch up over them. Dang, she's totally got Lloyd in the back foot. Despite her seemingly gentle nature, she appears to be quite the formidable force. For some reason, I don't get the feeling they're related by blood, though. Maybe not, but they're as close as any family I've ever seen. 
I'm a bit jealous. Long time no see, Uncle Miles. I'll take the uncle. Oh yeah, what voice do I want to give the uncle? Oh, you're... Well, if it isn't little Lloyd from next door. What a pleasant surprise. I'd heard that you were back in town, but I didn't think that you'd grown so much. I hardly recognize you. Well, I might have gotten a little taller, but I've still got a long way to go on the inside. I wouldn't say that. You did pass the qualification exam to become a detective, after all. Sure, if Guy were still here, he'd be proud of his little brother. You really think so? Be glad if that were truly the case. He absolutely would. I know it. My job keeps me out of the house, but my wife is usually home. Please rely on her if you ever need some help, okay? Thanks. I'm in your debt. And I'm never going to remember that I gave him that voice. All right. Um. Up here, we don't have anything. Hmm? What's that over there? Amazing. Oh god, is it no, it's not the same one, it's just No, using it's her the sprite. one next to her. But it's not the same like person. Correct. I meant the sprite, it, it looked very yeah. similar to that one girl. Oh, it looks like Bennett, yes. It looks like it's Bennett the same model, case you know. of characters didn't all have distinct because Bennett is not a prominent character in this one. She won't become more prominent until later, and she'll get her own sprite. Oh. How do you say that bottom thing? Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay. This is home to the constant renowned theater troupe, Arkansas. Let's see, this is a dude. Oh, hold on. Let's let me do this. Take <coughs> uh, a cough drop in my mouth to give me a different sounding voice. Also, it's an excuse to have a cough drop. Oh yeah, aren't there tickets ridiculously expensive though? Do you want the guide or should I take the guide? <laughs> I was gonna say Xander could try the, like guide the guide if you wanted more to. Like a tired guide or like a bubbly tour guide? I think Either it would be one. funny if it was a tired. It's like over it, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do the tired guide. <sighs> Everybody enjoying themselves? Are we all ready to go to our next stop? Oh man, can't we go inside and watch one of their performances? No can do, I'm afraid. Their only show today is being held later in the evening. Once we split off for free time tonight, though, you're welcome to check it out. I wholeheartedly recommend it. Both for fans 
and the uninitiated. Okay, everyone, allow me to lead you to our next destination. I like coming out here to chill. Been a hell of a lot of tourists lately, though. Yeah. I've heard there's been a lot of tour buses coming in and out of town. The entertainment district has a lot to offer, so that makes it one of the more popular spots for them to visit. That's why our work is of such importance. If something were to happen to them, it could snowball into an international crisis. It would be a bet. It would be best to avoid that, indeed. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Go. Mmm, gelato. We just needed that so we could get the... Uh, Wasn't there a Sophie in Liberal too who sold ice cream? Am I wrong on that? You might be right. It's just a, it's just a whole league of Sophies that sell ice cream. It's like Nurse Joy from Pokemon. Exactly! <laughs> Sophies who sell ice cream. It's just all Sophies that sell ice cream. I, I think it was an S name, but I think it might have been... Sadie instead. That rings more of a bell. Hmm? What's going on? I know we said Sophie. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. That is pronounced Rishia. Rishia? Okay. Do you want to be blonde haired woman or do you want to be Rishia? I can be blonde haired woman. What's her what's her voice tone? It kind of seems like um better than she... others. No, mm -hmm. actually she she looks like it, but that's more just the style that they wear. I think of so the Arkansas troop borrows a lot of the stylistic choices of Romani clothing. Mm -hmm. So they wear a lot of bangles and kind of that Eastern European styling of clothing. So she's covered in a lot of gold jewelry just because that's the, that's just how well, they that's are. Not, I was ref that's not what I was f referring to. The way that she's saying the statement and the way she's looking right now mm -hmm. kind of goes off as a person that's like, uh, whatever, kind yeah. of thing. No, she's act. If I remember, if this is the person I'm thinking it is, she's actually fairly kind. Okay. It's one of those where the portrait doesn't necessarily do the ad do the attitude the right way. a higher or a lower voice um I, if i remember right because i've only i think i've only actually heard, heard her speak like once um or twice i think she's got like a uh, i want to say like middle of the road Like, she doesn't have a super high or low voice. I guess it's right in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra lilt to it, too, so. Oh, don't be so stubborn, Rishia. I promise it's not a big deal. Stay with me for as long as you'd like. Now, as for Rishia. I'm- I imagine she's soft-spoken. Um... Kind of. 
think of her she has in a way almost a personality intonation of nash but not british oh okay easy peasy then yeah it's it's she's very much the like somewhat i, 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 I got i got this i know i'm just got this. in general she's <laughs> somewhat it. reserved but she's not like necessarily super quiet no i really i couldn't I appreciate the offer, but I'll be fine, really. I'll just find a cheap apartment somewhere. City Hall's information desk should be able to point me in the right direction, I think. True, true. That's probably the quickest and easiest way to go about it. You can take care of your citizenship application while you're there, too. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Not only did I cut our practice short, but now I'm bothering you with all these questions. I also forgot. Blonde haired lady is a flirt. It is the person oh, I'm thinking flirt. of. Oh my gosh, she did look like a flirt. She totally had the face of, mm, I'm sure you don't want to just, you know, stay with me. That's her name. I knew it was some <laughs> kind of Russian sounding name. I will increase the flirt. Or try to. Ilya? Ilya. Yep. Yeah. Holy like, smokes! Isn't that Ilya Platier? Ilya Platier? I think I've seen her in a few magazines. I think this is just and, their manager. Okay. And who might you all be? Oh, I was right. My sincerest apologies, but can you move your mouse for a sec? No, oh, it's Arcan Arkansas. <laughs> okay, but Arkansas has a performance starting at 6 p.m. If you're a fan, we would appreciate it if you would return at a later time. But, sorry, sir, we didn't come here unannounced. Please excuse us then. Wait, was that embarrassing? I thought we could go in there without any issues. Excuse me, but who exactly is this Ilya Platier? She is stunning. <coughs> How could you not know who Ilya Platier is? <laughs> Man, you've been living under a rock all these years? Say that again. <laughs> Okay. Calm down, you two. To answer your question, Tio, she's a bit of a celebrity. This is recasting. This is came, came out a little yeah. bit strong there. <laughs> <laughs> also, of course, Randy knows who she is. Of course, he does. Oh, of course, he does. Of course, she's an attractive woman. He of knows course. all of the attractive women. Yes, he has it like in his brain, permanently. Yes, in point. Well, you see his on magazines. His to -do list. Yeah, probably. Am I to assume this is my voice? This is Risha. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, pardon me. No, it was our fault. We shouldn't have been standing in your way. <laughs> it's okay. Have a nice day. Huh? Is she from the troop? I've never seen her face before, though. Is she a new member? <coughs> All right. We're gonna go I to feel this like convenient... they should have realized that Ilya Platier was gonna be there because her name is on the poster. Ah. I'll give you a guess what this place is. The red light district? It's called the back alley, but 
Yeah, basically. <laughs> New answer. To I'm sorry. It's I, not I just hear, the red light district, but it, I hear the yeah. slightly jazzy music and then the lady looking very sassy and on the sign. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the one walking through the screen too? I also saw that one. Yeah. It's uh, supposed yeah, to be. That too. Yeah. <coughs> What is this place? Why does he look so upset saying this? I think he, he's more this like... This is very serious. Like serious, is, important, very important. Yes. Matter. This is the infamous back alley of Crossbell. It's like an extension of the entertainment district. Got its fair share of pubs and nightclubs you can while the night away at. It's not like you're awfully familiar with this area, Randy. <laughs> of course, man. Didn't I tell you before? The clubs down here have a ton of sexy ladies. And where sexy ladies gather, so too does Red. All right, you can stop talking now. <laughs> I suppose Randy must be a regular at these kinds of places. I mean, he literally invited you to this place before. Alright, um, we don't need to talk, worry about talking with these people. I was just going to try and buy something, and I can't buy anything from him. This is an antique store, I thought so. Woo! Buddy, 25,000. Alright, we're buying four. Four of them, please, yes. <laughs> we're going to buy four of these, too. Wow. Wow! Ow. What did those do now? Wow! <laughs> wow! Alright, so we want to put one of each of those ones on the boys, and we're going to put one of each of these ones on the girls. Boom. Technically, I could put one of each of them on. Each of them. Um, but not gonna do that. Whoop. Yeah. Make. Yep. Mm, yep. Oh, this <coughs> Sorry, I said that again. I was coughing that entire time. I mean. Okay. Yeah, that cat is supposed to be green. That is not a mess up of the camera. Look at all the rest of the colors. Yeah, he's, that is it's a also green got, cat. Like, glowing yellow he's eyes, also so supposed to looking. be a black cat. It's a zombie that cat. Is a, that, that is, is a green, green cat. It's, they they yeah. don't do... That is a very... I that is realize a, that, is I, a that is a... Is normal. That is a... <laughs> he's supposed to be a normal black cat. For some reason, it's not rendering him properly. Everything uh, else on the screen is rendering absolutely just fine. So I, I, like trust me, I realize this, but like this cat shows up later. The cat is green. In this building, and he's black. Are we sure it's the same cat? Yes, because you're gonna get, you're gonna get its name during this dialogue. Wait, I have a better voice for the cat. Meow. Okay. This is not yeah. the cow from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I think I immediately think of the, uh, the cow <coughs> from Fairy Tale. Man. <laughs> Meow. Until then. Okay. I repeat my voice line. Oh, there's a cat up here? You're too adorable. Seems like this has been his home for far longer than it's been ours. Actually, he's probably been here since the Crossbell Times stopped using this place as their main office. Psst, psst. What's your name, little fella? Meow. <laughs> His name is... Is that Cope. Cop? Cope? Okay. His name is Cope. Is that a name you just came up with, Tio? It's really cute. 
No, I was not the one who originally named him. Regardless, I think it would be best if we stick with Cope. <laughs> no complaints here. Let's try and bring the guys some food every now and then, eh? Meow. <laughs> Mira is officially the voice of Cope the Cat. So. <laughs> and Cope Cat goes, Meow. Meow. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we get to do some weird uh, wonkiness to get this to work, right? So, we need... How do I... What is the button for this now? Nope. Oh yeah, we have a chat log now, which is nice. Ah, that's the setting. Ah. Um. What? Where do I get that from? Where am I supposed to get that recipe, game? Where does that recipe come from? <coughs> I'm supposed to make a specific kind of recipe for him. But I don't know where I was supposed to get this magical recipe from. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see where I was supposed to get it from. All right. Let's see. East. Wowza! Talk about an exotic looking street! I believe this could be described as Eastern style. I have heard of the area, but the descriptions pale in comparison to seeing it in person. I haven't had the chance to come here very often myself. I've heard the various stalls at the marketplace are wonderful though. Yeah? Why don't we check it out then? Is this the part where I remind you all that we aren't here to shop? Besides, I think the Bracery Guild is located somewhere around here. We're not here to shop, but yet we've been shopping. And Shush. we've seen, like, lots of Lloyd's friends, which is not also part of the mission. Hey, look! It's the Crossbell branch of the Fishing Guild. The Fisherman's Guild. Hmm. Well. <laughs> surely Estelle's not around, so. Nope. Surely. She I don't have to go like fishing. Nice. Lies. I bet you you do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to do a fishing for False. something that you would, would, would want to have eventually. So this building belongs to the Bracer Guild? Indeed. They are an international non-governmental organization serving to keep the peace and protect civilians. Yep. The Crossbell's favorite allies of justice and our competitors. Though I believe, officially at least, we have a collaborative relationship with them.
Is that an interesting voice? Is that a dude or a girl? A guy or a girl, first of all? It is a guy. Okay. He is a very flamboyant guy. I immediately was thinking of the vendor guy from Vox Machina. Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Right? Him! <laughs> yes! Okay. There you go. <sighs> Oh, why, hello there. Welcome to the Bracer Guild. Mm -hmm. You must be from that new little experiment the police department's running. The SSS, right? What? How does he know about us? Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Lloyd Bannings with the CPD Special Support Section. And you are... You can call me Michelle. I serve as the Bracer Guild's reception of Saturn and Crossbell. I heard about you guys from Arios. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Still, I'm surprised you recognized us as soon as we walked in. <laughs> well, the badges were a dead giveaway. And that uh, eclectic lineup of yours narrowed it down quite a bit. Anyway, from what I hear, your little group has taken more than a few notes from the Bracer Guild, hmm? It, yeah? I cannot deny that. I'm guessing you Bracers aren't too amused by that. Oh, don't be silly. We don't mind one little bit. In fact, we welcome you with open arms. We're always drowning in a request, and every bracer in my guild is already running around the state like a headless chicken. You'd be doing us a huge favor by taking on some of that work, you know. I see. It's a bit of a relief to hear that. But don't go getting ahead of yourselves just yet. You still haven't done diddly squat to prove you're useful. Half-assed help only makes work more for us. Mm, not pulling any punches, I see. I know I'm being a tad harsh, but we honestly have some of the best braces that Maria has to offer here in Crossbell. Arios is a given, of course, but each and every one of our other members are pros at what they do, and the citizens trust them immensely. On the other hand, the SSS is just a group of newbies the CPD threw together to salvage its image. So you can see why I might still have my doubts that you'll be able to keep up, right? Yeah. There's no arguing against that. Measuring up to the Measuring. Name. That is my line. Yep. Well. Yep, it is. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, ghost? <laughs> Measuring up to them is definitely a tall order. Can't deny that. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll ease off on the teasing for now. You just focus on working hard and doing what you can for now. And if you fall and scrape your knees, we'll be there to kiss your boo-boos and make it all better. We'll give it our all. I like him. <laughs> that was a great voice for him. Also, I just... Oh, Vaxeldon! <laughs> are you talking about Gilmore? Is that who you were trying yes. to... Yeah, Gilmore. Yes. That's what I thought. He's... Yeah. That's actually probably pretty I accurate. His name, but that is his name, and yes. <laughs> okay. Um, nice Eastern style Ooh. tavern. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is this exit? We have no reason to leave right now. Uh. Damn, there's a neighborhood down here? 
This place is really a part of Crossbell City? Yes, it is. This is the downtown district. I haven't been around here much, to be honest. This place is supposedly the remnants of a development project from long ago. According to the records, many citizens still inhabit the area. Interesting. I didn't know that. At any rate, this place is still within our jurisdiction. Let's do a quick sweep of the area. Aha! No wonder no one trusts the police these days. They're out here stealing from us treasure chests. Ah, uh, they've caught us red-handed. Also, this is... You can see this here. This is pronounced Nine Volley. Literally how it's spelled. District. It's connected to the Lupinus River and Lake Elm just south of us. This area is teeming with different businesses. If you look north, you'll see companies of all kinds lined up next to each other. <laughs> it's got that nice park in the middle of it all, too. Makes for a great spot to kick back and relax. I bet I could take a quick snooze there, easy. According to the database, it is simply known as the Harbor District Park. Not the most inspired name, I must say. Wait, is that? Crestfall Times! I was wondering where they'd move their office to. He's gone through a lot of changes these past three years. The City Hall, CPD Headquarters, and the City Library. All of the public offices are here in the Administrative District. It seems to be quite a tranquil place. The fountain and benches look especially pleasant. It's one of the best places to sit and relax in the whole city, but it's always empty like this in the middle of the day. Well, HQ is right there, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to visit. Definitely should try to remember the way here from the SSS building. Roger, boss man. And didn't we get one of those support requests from HQ telling us to go there? May as well stop by since we're already here. Isn't that the guide? Nope. Nope. Same sprite, different person. Aw. Okay. She could also You're be incredibly tired. For... <laughs> okay, that's, that's true. <laughs> You're looking for information on the cheapest apartments? Take this brochure. I'm sure it'll prove more than useful to you. Oh, I wasn't aware these ex these existed. What a relief. Do you mind if I borrow one and read through it? Not at all, ma'am. They're there for you to take. But I'd be careful with the cheaper apartments if I were you. <coughs> <sighs> I need to hurry and sort out my housing situation so I can return to practicing. You okay? Yeah. My apologies. I started thinking aloud. Anyway, thank you for your assistance. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. Not at all. Didn't we just see her not too long ago? <laughs> Something tells me we'll be seeing more of her in the future. That's the only scene in there. This is a different reception. Yeah, but the other one's right there. Yep. This one, like, older? I have no idea. Oh. Um. <laughs> I was yawning, sorry. That was gonna be her voice. I was like, wow. <laughs> what a voice you chose. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I got one. again. Another request on the terminal, so here we are. Great. I've been waiting for you guys. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Rebecca, the head receptionist of the CPD. And I'm Franz Seeker, also a receptionist of the CPD. I don't think I had the chance to properly introduce myself the other day. Yeah, I suppose you didn't. That day wasn't one of our finest moments. What you mean to say is, we were scolded by the Vice Commissioner after we let a bracer steal all of our credit. Don't remind me. Tio. Oh dear, I'm so sorry everyone. That's pretty unfortunate for your first day. <laughs> Don't let it bother you too much. The SSS was only established recently, so I'm sure you all are still trying to get the hang of things. If you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to rely on us, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Warms my heart to hear we've got an angel like you looking out for us. You're too kind. So, would you mind explaining the additional details regarding the support requests? Of course not. Let's get started. First of all, HQ has assigned the dedicated operator to support the SSS. That's our very own friend right here. It's a pleasure to work with you all. An operator? So, Fran will be supporting us via our enigmas. My specialty isn't really supporting you guys in the field. My main duty is to help and re help report and process the completion of support requests. This will be done via the Orbital Network. <laughs> you kind of lost me on this one. In other words, the SSS will be accepting a myriad of different requests from now on. And once we finish these requests, Fran will process the reports that we submit to her through our terminal in the SSS building. So then that means... We don't have to come to headquarters every time we need to submit a report, is that right? Precisely. Once your reports are approved in the process within the system, we will send the proper compensation your way. Furthermore, when your DP accumulates beyond a certain threshold, your detective rank will also increase. Feel free to ask me about that later. Basically, these are all my new duties as the very first operator of the SSS. I see. That makes sense. So we can avoid all that irritating paperwork by using the terminal down at the SSS building, yeah? That's right. It's actually a part of the Orbital Network Initiative in Crossbell. 
TO has the terminal at the SSS been installed and tested yet? Yes, it is ready for reports anytime. Good to hear. Well then, please allow me to explain the additional details regarding your support request. If there's anything you don't understand, please feel free to ask questions. Okay, we don't really need to go through all of these things. It's just explaining how this mechanic will function. So if you're fine with it, I'll just skip through the dialogue for these. That's fine. Because this is it's literally just, what are these things? They're all the things. How do we submit a report? We go to the terminal. What's the rank mean? That's literally how well we do. <laughs> like, all right. <coughs> sure to send more support requests your way as they come in got it thanks you too see it was literally just the explanation of how that mechanic's gonna function we didn't mess up our quest i don't think nope <laughs> Oop, wrong building So, all we have to do is use this terminal and report our progress to headquarters, right? That is correct. We should try testing it. All right. Hello, We're... you reached the CPD. Fine, whatever. No, Fine, go we'll ahead. Do this first one we will have nope, you do nope, because nope. of different dialogue. Okay. Hello, you reached the CPD. This is Fran speaking. Well then, allow me to go over your reports. It's just, going forward, we won't make you do this every single time. Unless you want to. Thanks for the reports, everyone. If you finish more support requests, please let me know. I see. Oh, it really was quick. So from here on out, we just have to report in like that whenever we complete requests. Another update. It appears that more requests have already been added to our system. We should verify each one just to be safe. Ooh, that's a lot. More monsters in the geo front, eh? So, this is an extermination request? From what I've heard, those are usually handled by the Bracer Guild. Hear me out, guys. Why don't we take care of this extermination ourselves? You want to... Looking for a better event redemption, Lloyd? Yeah, I am. It was only because of Arios McClain that we came out unscathed last time. Good time to prepare. I genuinely believe that we could have handled it on our own. Besides, today's our first social day on the job, so why not start out with a bang? You make a compelling argument. It seems troublesome, but you may have a point. I like the way you think, Lloyd. We better get to work on fixing up our uh, questionable image. Now that we got a plan, I guess we should head to the geofront when we're ready. Yeah. Some that are more urgent, same thing as the Bracer Guild request. This is a quick one, it doesn't take long to do, especially because everything's going to run away from us. Uh, 
until you run into it, you know. Yeah, it could be a problem with that, you know. If you run into the monsters, they have no choice. That one didn't even die in one hit. Well, that's because it was Tio. Ah. Tio is not a fighter. <coughs> we. <laughs> right? The following chess messages were written in an organic, cage-free environment and sourced locally from the Geofront. <laughs> AKA, I think that the chess messages came from the people who did the Geofront translation of this game, which was the only way you could play this game up until last year. Well, sorry, two years ago now at this point, 22. The only way you could play this game was via an unofficial translation by a team called the Geofront. Oh. Um, they went through and translated the entirety of Zero and Azure so that people in the West could play them because they had never been localized. Well, that was nice of them. That team, some of them, then went on to aid in this localization um, the team at NIS America brought some of that team on to aid in the localization of the game good work everyone reshare please I just, I really want to get through the prologue today. <laughs> Ideally. What? That thing was a complete pushover compared to the one Arya's took down. That may be so, but as long as we work together, there's nothing we can't overcome. Agreed. Also, I just deactivated the lock on the inner door. That should save us a lot of time, so we should exit that way. Gotcha. When did she even do that? Lloyd Bannings of the special support section speaking. It's me. How are things going? Chief Sergei. Actually, we just eliminated the monster from the request. Perfect. Glad things are going well. Where are you now? Um, we just exited the Geofront. Huh. You're not too far away, then. What? I need you guys to investigate something immediately. Drop your support request for now and make it your top priority. Got it. So, uh, what is it that needs investigating? Head over to the downtown district on the double. It's in the southeastern part of the city. Some residents there contacted the police. Apparently, uh, two delinquent gangs that have been on each other's throats are about to start a brawl. What? Stop them before there's trouble. Good luck. Uh, hold on. Stopping a fight isn't exactly what I'd call an investigate. He hung up on me. <laughs> what did he say? Just from the look on your face, I can tell it ain't gonna be a good time. You could say that. Delinquent gangs in the downtown district. 
I don't remember seeing anyone like that when we were down there earlier. According to the database, there are two rival gangs who claim the district as their territory. The Saber Vipers and the Testament. Apparently, skirmishes between the two have been daily occurrences. I never used to be any gangs like that in the city. I guess a lot's changed. Anyway, we should hurry there and assess the situation. I have to find a way to calm them down before the situation escalates. I agree. Downtown district it is then. Look over there. Check it out. Looks like things are about to get heated. <laughs> the Crips versus the Bloods. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, I'll be this guy. Hey, you blue bastards. Keep acting all smug and we're going to cut you right where you belong. In the dirt. We can each be a member of each gang. <laughs> ha! Yeah, damn bugs have been getting on our nerves for far too long. Or she could do it. That's fine too. Pretty ballsy of you to pull this underhanded crap on us. Go ahead, D. Uh, um, this is precisely why you Neanderthals are so annoying. We don't need to rely on underhanded tactics to take care of hoodlums like you. <laughs> and besides... You were the ones who sent one of our men to the hospital. What's the saying? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? You better repair yourselves, because we're going to pass judgment on you. Or by us, you blue bastards. All doesn't need to be here for us to kick your asses. That's you again, Dave. This is me. Yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth. Why is these presents unnecessary for us to take out trash like you? So his name is Wazi. Why well, these presents is unnecessary yes. for us to take out trash like you? He has one of the gr like his name is so much fun. I'm going to spoil this slightly. He'll introduce himself in a minute. Just FYI, spoiler. His name is Wazi Hemisphere. Wow. Yep. Amazing. He's great. Prepare for the crusade, everyone. It's time we eliminate these saberback scum. Hold it. The hell? Hmm. I've never seen any of you before. Cease your fighting immediately. Your thoughtless actions are causing a disturbance for all the residents living here. That's Miras. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Coming out of nowhere and bossing us around. Well, uh, I guess we do just look like a bunch of randos to them. How do we proceed? Hmm. Obviously, uh. you show you're a detective. Might be helpful. With the CPD Special Support Section. Receive requests from residents of the area to intervene. <laughs> Your police officers. Mira. Oh, right. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell. 
There's no way the police would respond to a request like that. They, they never could come here. If you're going to lie, at least come up with a better one than that. We're being serious. Regardless, that doesn't change the fact that you're disturbing the other residents. If you're so intent on handing out ass kickings, then why not take it outside the city? I'm sure you guys could use the exercise. <laughs> you got guts, I'll give you that. Think you can waltz into the downtown district and run your mouth like that? We have our own pulpit follow here. If you keep pushing your luck, all it'll get you is a trip to the early grave. Damn it. Uh, we ain't getting through to these punks at all. Are there no other conclusions to this situation? <sighs> I suppose we have no other choice. Ooh, what do we have here? I didn't notice how cute those two chicks were. Trying to act cool so you can impress them. Why don't you babes ditch these losers and hang out with some real men? You really are a bunch of Neanderthals. This isn't the time to be hitting on women. Uh, how about we just get rid of these pests first? We can continue our f fight afterward. Uh, uh, are you okay with that, you red worms? Heh, <laughs> fine by us. Take them down, boys. Hmm. Well, here we are. <laughs> Box all around. <laughs> Damn, these guys are no amateurs. <laughs> I'm candy. What's with her staff? That thing nearly fried me. What the hell? Stop screwing with us! You guys are really our racers, aren't you? I told you already. We're police officers. <sighs> People really have lost all trust in the police. Fine, you're away. I'm playing nice. This time, you're all dead. Gilbert, is that you? But say it's a mix just, of a lot of voices. I have one whiny voice, and it's Gilbert. It's so... <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> it's Gilbert, just lower. Yeah. Let's do this, men. We must show them the true power of the Testaments, even if they are bracers. Uh... This guy. That guy. <laughs> Oh. That guy. This guy. Now, he... This is not Wazzy. This is Wald. This is Wald. And he is... Think... If Zen was a gang member. Except, actually, like, as, high, as far as build goes. The dude is big and buff. So he's Agate. Before Agate became good. Yes, but he's Zen's size. Agate's oh. supposed to be Zen's size. Um, no, Agate is shorter than Zen. Zen is very tall. Everybody looks tall when they're laying on the ground. That's this guy's attitude. This guy is absolutely incredibly brash. Nice. So, if you want, you are much better at that type of character than I am. Okay. What in the absolute hell do you guys think you're doing? And I'll do Walt. <coughs> or Wazzy. What do you mean? I'll Wazzy. do Wazzy. <laughs> I think you've all done quite enough. <laughs> I'm 
Mira, be that guy. Since I'm talking is Wazi. Bald? Oh my gosh. Wazi, you came. Oh, these guys must be... So our head honchos have entered the battlefield. And a random bald guy. <laughs> you guys have been having fun while I was napping? So, anyone gonna explain what the hell is going on here? Um, how do we put this? You're trying to teach them blue bastards a lesson, then these four chumps come out of nowhere and interrupted our fight. You moron! Did not tell her to use that damn head of yours before you start shit? Are you dumbasses trying to piss all over my reputation by taking up fights in public? Is that it? No, no sir. Not, not at all. We never deserve to take the piss on your reputation. <laughs> <coughs> wow, I don't even have to try. Nice <laughs> And what do you all have to say for yourselves? Should I take this to mean you're not capable of following my orders? Wait, hold on, Wazi. This is a different one. It just the front and the left one were the ones being. Deep. Yeah, just use the same voice because I don't think the other guy will talk at all during this one. They started taunting us. That's why we. What were you talking into just now? My Smirnoff. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, what? I was like mid drink when I was like, I gotta say a <laughs> line. Uh, let me let me do some modulation for this guy. Large bold man. That's Enough of your excuses. As members of the Brotherhood, you should know better than this. I understand. We'll reflect upon our actions. It's fine, as long as you guys understand. <laughs> you guys are the same as ever. Bunch of freaking weirdos. Making your men dress up in those creepy ass threads. Think you're a cult leader or something? I didn't force anyone to wear these garments. And how about you? Taking your anger out on your subordinates? Is that any way for a leader to act? <laughs> <laughs> What's with these two? I can't gauge their relationship. Anyway. We've got more important matters to deal with. You four, is it true you're actually police officers? If so, you don't look the part. <laughs> From the look of it, they ain't half bad at fighting though. Especially the redhead. Dude's built like an ox. Uh, well, thanks buddy. Can't say I hold a candle to you though. As for the two ladies with you, there's no way you can convince me they're police officers. Gotta admit, they're good looking gals, though. How flattering. I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's 14. It's true, though. Where are the CPD's new recruits? Or the special support section, a division that was just established. Oh, you're the ones that appeared in today's issue at the Crossville Times, then. Ooh. We, we were in the Crossville Times? Could it have been an article in our rescue efforts? Huh? These guys pull off something big? Yeah, apparently they were a pathetic opening act to one of the guild's dramatic rescues. Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose your so-called contributions did help, if only slightly. Ugh. <laughs> Don't make that face. I'll stop teasing you, poor guys. 
My name's Wazi, Wazi Hemisphere. I suppose you could call me the leader of the Testaments. Why the uncertainty? Well, you fit the image of a leader far more than I do. That shiny bald head of yours is the perfect thing to rally troops around. <laughs> he is I'm also screwing around. Wazi is also fairly flamboyant in his manner of speaking. Hmm. The name's Wald Wales. Leader of the Saber Vipers. So you're Wazi and Wald then. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Lloyd Banning of the CPD Special Support Section. I imagine that you don't intend on escalating the conflict any further. Is it fine if I leave the rest to you two? <laughs> well, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking how wonderfully naive you are. You think we plan on de-escalating the situation? <laughs> what kind of dumbass train of thought is that? Uh... The only reason we stopped them is because we haven't finished our preparations. We plan on having the ultimate showdown once we're ready. And when we do finally go at it, you can bet it ain't gonna be the child's play you just saw. Which one of us is gonna be left standing? We ain't stopping till one side's nothing but corpses. What? You're kidding me, right? You guys really trying to kill each other? <laughs> Don't know why you're acting all surprised. Though, it's pretty obvious which one of us will get their asses handed to them right now. <laughs> if you're running your mouth while you can. At any rate, this is none of your business. A bunch of government dogs. Heck, a bunch of rookies like yourself should stay out of this. What? Heh, <laughs> time to roll out, boys! Yeah. Let's get going, too. Yes, sir. That was D's character. No, that was no, the bald man. No, that was large bald man. Was it? It, it said yeah. guy in blue. It, it, no, it said large bald man. I thought it said large bald man. I thought it, I thought it said bald man. Well, they're the quite the handful. I get the feeling they were completely serious about everything they said, too. Yeah, based on what we saw, this place will be a war zone the next few days. Things are going to get real bloody, I can tell. We have technically completed the mission assigned to us by the chief. This problem is beyond the scope of our mission, correct? I disagree. As things stands, I don't think we can truly call our mission complete just yet. If we just walk off now, then the police will never regain the citizens' trust. A convincing argument. You're right, Lloyd. Now that we've gotten involved, we need to find some way to stop them from fighting. Bit of a tall order, ain't it? They didn't strike me as the type to start playing nice just because someone told them to. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hmm. Request the point. Nah, we're handling it ourselves. Oh, that's what you're great. I doubt we'd receive any support if we request send in a request to headquarters. Seems like our best course of action is to take care of this ourselves. Shouldn't we at least report in and see what headquarters has to say? They might offer to increase patrols in the area. I doubt it. Think about it. These guys were causing a scene in broad daylight. They knew the police wouldn't show up to stop them. I think headquarters was intentionally abandoning the downtown district. Oh. 
According to the database, the patrols in this district have been drastically decreased as of late. It seems the purpose was budget related. Looks like we were right. Doesn't that mean we're kind of screwed? Why not just confront each group head on, beat their asses and make sure they don't step out of line? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Hold on a second. I mean, that's kind of the plan. Yeah. Why do they even want to wipe each other out in the first place? I am not actually sure either. Ain't it obvious? There are a bunch of heated hooligans trying to take control of some territory. I don't think that's the case. If it was that simple, they wouldn't need to completely wipe each other out. It'd make more sense if they were competing over a vested interest, but they're just a simple gang of delinquents. Why is it necessary for them to go through such links? I am impressed by your deduction. Likewise. <laughs> Damn, man. What's wrong? Did I say something strange? Not at all. I was just thinking that you truly earned those deductive qualifications of yours. Yeah, you ain't half bad. Now that I think about it, it didn't seem like the leaders hated each other's guts all that much. There is a strong possibility that some underlying reason is driving the conflict. One, uh, one known only to them, and serious enough to warrant the two groups trying to wipe each other out. Yeah, that was my thought process. Well, there's only one thing left to do, right? You knew it. Shall we pay the Saber Vipers and Testaments a visit? Which of the two should we speak to first? Okay, I'm going to ask a question. I know how much we have left. It is under an hour probably closer to 30 30 to 45 minutes before the end of the prologue do we want to just finish that out tonight or do we want to call it here i know DD we normally run till about this time or a little bit later so that's why i'm asking it's also a friday night Like I said, 30 minutes, 30 to probably closer to 45 minutes, less than an hour. I know that for a fact. If it's 30 to 45 minutes, I I don't mind pushing. But if everyone else is tired, we can just call it. I think I can hold out that long. I'm always up that long. I was going to say, me and Xander are almost always up that late anyway. So. Yeah, Xander, we're usually playing Rocket League at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're normally on Rocket League till at least two. So, okay. Like I said, especially since we don't have to worry about combat a whole lot other than just, you know, the actual act of doing it. And we don't have a lot of combat during this. It's mostly just conversation. And it's ve two relatively quick conversations. Um, if I zone out, just yell at me and I'll wake back up. Okay. But I'm, I mean, I'm looking okay. at the walkthrough and there's not a lot left in it. And I have played through this part. I know what's here and there's not a lot left. A billiards table? Must be one of those billiards clubs. It's like a pretty nice place. Hmm. Trinity. This facility seems to possess a legitimate business permit. So this is the Testament's hangout. What do you want? Wait, you're... Are these people different or are they like earlier? I would just keep doing the same voices for them because okay, we're just going to go with it. There's only like three sprites they use for the testaments. <laughs> so it's going to be impossible to tell. All right. Those police dogs. Hello there. Sorry to intrude. The sign says you were open, so I figured we'd come by and have a friendly chat. Yeah. 
You really think you can just waltz in here like this? What do you want with us? You better have a good reason for being here. If you come to fight, we'll continue where we left off and settle things once and for all. Stop. Abbas. Why are you stopping us? Do not forget, this place is our sanctuary. Cease your pretty arguments. What are your orders, Your pretty Wazi? arguments? What? <laughs> Not petty arguments. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> eh, I don't see the harm in letting them stay. Understood. Uh, thanks. What's the matter with these people? They look as if they're about to hold some kind of ceremony. Well, why are you here? Didn't I tell you guys already? I don't have anything to say to a bunch of dogs. Just because you don't have anything to say to us doesn't mean the opposite holds true. We'd appreciate it if you could cooperate with us in an investigation. Hmm, an investigation? Let me just say this up front, that I don't intend to put our fight with the Vipers on hold. The residents may be bothered by our little scuffles, but they'll just have to deal with it until it's all over. Yeah, don't worry, we're not here to stop your dispute with the Vipers. We came here to find out the reason behind it. Why are you- why are the both of you trying to wipe each other out? Oh. That's- Silence. Let Wazi handle this. Sorry. Considering your reactions, there's more to the story than meets the eye. Care to share the details with us? Uh, even if I bother explaining the details to you, what could you possibly hope to accomplish? If you were bracers, that'd be one thing, but what are the police going to do? Are you guys really planning on helping out a bunch of ruffians like us? I'll admit that the police have been pain awfully negligent when it comes to the downtown district. And you're not wrong. Knowing the details doesn't necessarily mean that we'll be able to help you out. After all, we're not bracers. We don't prioritize the safety of civilians like they do. Well then, pal. Wait a minute, Lloyd. <sighs> What's the point in us talking, then? Do you honestly think I'd graciously provide you information with nothing in return? Doesn't no one taught you the concept of give and take? That's where you're wrong. I do have something to give in return. Oh, do tell. A detective's job is to shine a light on the secrets that lie deep in the shadows of society. At least, that's what I was taught growing up. If your heart holds even the slightest bit of that darkness known as doubt, and we can help relieve you of that darkness, the shadows, of that shadow looming over you. We'll uncover the truth, no matter what. That is what I have to give in return. Sorry, I walked away. Ah. ah. Impressive. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's not every day you get to hear an overly dramatic speech of that caliber. You're Lloyd, right? I like you. It's been a while since I've had such a good laugh. I wasn't saying all that to get a laugh. Anyway, what's your answer? you share with us your reason for wanting to wipe out the Saber Vipers? <laughs> Alright, fine. It'd be rude of me to deny you after such a rousing speech. Abbas, if you would, please. Understood. I've yet to introduce myself. My name is Abbas. I'm a member of the Testaments. Oh, uh, pleased to meet you. He's huge. 
Is he a bodybuilder or something? The incident responsible for our dispute occurred five nights ago. One of our members was ambushed by the vipers in a nearby alleyway. Ambushed? Um, would you say that it wasn't just a normal everyday fight? It wasn't a fight at all. Took a heavy blow to the back of his head and was beaten with a group of guys well after he lost consciousness. It was a massacre. They beat him so bad he was sent to the hospital. Damn. No mercy at all, huh? So, how's everything doing now? Based on what we've heard from the hospital, he hasn't regained consciousness yet. He finished treating his other wounds, but the blow to his head was more serious than it had first appeared. We're currently waiting for further updates on his condition. I see. Is it safe to assume that you didn't report the stack to the police? Why would we? I can't imagine they'd offer any assistance. Regardless, the culprits are clear. Involving the police would only interfere with our plans to deal with the situation ourselves. I see. Hold on. If the victim has yet to regain consciousness, how can you claim with certainty that the Saber Vipers are the culprits? Hey, she's right. Is this all only based on circumstantial evidence? Despite what you may think, we're not so simple-minded. We're known for being a fair bit sharper than our meat-headed counterparts. Though, I suppose you might find that hard to believe. Was he? We've got good reason to be sure the Vipers are the culprits. I'm sure you can deduce what that reason is, Mr. Detective. Well... What would make sense here? Probably footprints? The location, I would assume. <coughs> I would assume the location, because they're fighting over the location. You would be incorrect. Incorrect? The wounds on the victims. Well, how Remember, the fuck are we supposed to know? Yeah. Because what you're supposed to have done is during that first battle, these no guys... weapons they use? These guys fight with staves and slings. Mm -hmm. Wazi's crew fight with pipes and knives. Well, too bad the fight was over before it began. Well, you're supposed to see it based on their <laughs> sprites when they square How up at you. How are we supposed to see it if you one-shot at all of them before we... No, it's when they squared up at the beginning when we pulled out our weapons. Yeah, they had clubs and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. The other group had knives. Yeah, probably the other group had clubs. Yeah, clubs, clubs and, knives. and knives. This group has staves and slings. That's literally how you're supposed to represent it. Because they have signature weapons. That's literally how the game expects you to know that. Okay. Which, well, that is the most circumstantial evidence ever. Technically, yes. It is. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to randomly go attack someone with a knife. Even though that is like the signature weapon of this gang. Clearly I'm with the gang. Whatever. Obviously. Sorry. Anyway. Because people can't have weapons without licenses. Except for the gangs. Have them. Yeah, but you said that they have knives. Can't, people can own knives, can't they? Not in this world. <laughs> They don't have in so this world, tell me how are they supposed bowl. to? Yeah, how are they supposed to cut their food? Then it's like, not. They, they don't carry just <laughs> little knives. It's a, I'm betting they carry party. survival like machete type knives. Well, machetes aren't knives. <laughs> well, okay, they're no. not machetes, but I'm talking about like, like they. Short swords. They are more akin to, oh, I guess, more akin to a dagger. But they're serrated. Okay. So it's a so Bowie it's like knife? Yeah, in a sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's literally just the style of weapon that they use is what you're supposed to pick up on. And that's okay. when you're supposed to be Carry like, up. oh, it's the type of weapon they use. That's how they identified it. 
I think I know. Yeah, you take that to a court of law, they would say it's circumstantial at best. Anyways, mm. continue. It would be, but not in this world. You're able to discern their identities by the type of wound inflicted, right? Right you are, my friend. While well, most of the injuries were bumps and bruises, there were also a few lacerations. It was as though they used something both sharp and blunt in their assault. Bumps and bruises paired with lacerations from something both sharp and blunt. Oh. Gotcha. You figure it was done by a nail bat like we saw one of them using earlier. Uh-huh. I see. The wounds inflicted on him could certainly serve as decisive pieces of evidence. But they're still circumstantial world. at best. In our world. In this world, no. Even in this world, that still serves. There's a creature could who do bumps and lacerations. Mm -hmm. It's not. That's not how this works in this world. There's been creatures that have claws and stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> and they, everything in this world leaves very distinctive marks. That is, it is a thing in this world that literally every single different thing attacks and leaves in different ways. So this. The same general type of monster. They may have claws, but this type of this monster will leave a claw mark that looks like this. This one will leave claw marks that look like this, even though they both have claws. And that is literally how this world is. It's wild, I know. That's how this world works. They can literally pinpoint this is like, let's say wolf versus dog. I mean, I know size wise, those are different creatures, but or, you know, wolf versus a large cat or whatever the case may, you know, whatever. That, that's a terrible way to do it. Um, I'm trying to think of another thing. This will, okay, wolf is a bad example. Uh, uh, Can we carry on with the dialogue? Anyway, yes. Yeah. It says all circumstantial. Just go. Yes. I think I've got a good grasp of what happened now. Thank you. This information was very helpful. Sure, no problem. Is that all you wanted, though? Sure it was, thinking you'd come in here to beg us to stop our plans for revenge. I'd obviously love for you to refrain from carrying out your plans against the Vipers, but I still don't have any. still don't have enough information to come to a conclusion yet. We need to pay the Saber Vipers a visit and hear their side of the story first. If we're able to figure out anything new, we'll let you know. Well, alright then. Looks like you're dead set on carrying out this little investigation of yours, Mr. Detective. I'll be waiting for you with bated breath to see what you turn up. Don't forget, if your investigation fails, we'll turn this district into a bloodbath. Understood. We're sure to bring back your information. That won't leave you disappointed. And now we speak we run over to the other one. Up. Oh. You're those cops. That was close. This place is supposed to be the Saber Viper's home base. This is a music venue known as Ignis. I believe it was originally a warehouse, but has since been remodeled. They do not pay taxes, so I am unaware of the specifics. Don't just ignore me. Tax evader. Maybe a rookie, but I'm a proud member of the Vipers all the same. Oh, sorry about that. We're hoping to have a discussion with your boss. Think you could let us in? Go see Wald? Ha! There's no way he'd give a bunch of police dogs like you the time of day. But no means no. Get the hell out of here. Well, this isn't how I imagined this going. Gotta admit, I'm very delinquent. He's a cute, bright eyed kid. Hello there. Can I ask what your name is? Me? Dino. What's it to you? Dino, huh? What a tough sounding name. So, Dino. It seems like you were put in charge of keeping watch for anyone suspicious, right? That's right. Well, personally assigned this job to me. I can't have 
any of those testaments jerks breaking in here. It definitely wasn't first in this post with the other members. That makes sense. It's a very important job. But we aren't members of the testaments. There shouldn't be any problems for you to let us in, correct? But it's like we're fighting with our guys earlier. If I let you in. <laughs> you say fighting, but a little scuffle like that is the same as saying hello for you, Saber Vipers, right? Besides, your boss didn't seem to mind it at all. But, but. Hmm, if you still aren't willing to trust us, then. What? What are you doing, Ellie? What is the meaning of this? Here. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Gosh, you and your dines. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, Brain. Here, take it. You can hold on to my pistol while we're inside. This is incredibly precious to me. I hope you take good care of it until I return. Uh, fine. Get it already. I'm not take it that far. Go and ask Walt if you can enter. Better not sneak in while I'm gone. Damn, that was a ballsy move. It certainly shocked me. That was impressive, Ellie. And I don't think I'd be able to pull off a negotiation like that. I'm quite familiar with these types of situations, so feel free to rely on me. I don't think that approach will work on someone like Wald, though. You'd be better off speaking to him in a similar manner as you did with Wazi. Yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> Wald will see you now. You got the okay to come in, but if I catch you trying to pull any fuzz business, you're finished. <laughs> Thank you. If you'll excuse us then. So this is what it's like inside. It is too noisy. You're right. We're in the end of a music venue. Damn, this place is their hangout? I'm almost a little jealous. Hey, I was waiting for you to show up. You've got some stones if you think you could just walk in here. Huh, we must have a death wish or something. Looks like those blue bastards told you most of the details already. What are you here for then? You gonna arrest us? Not at all. We're hoping to ask for your cooperation in our investigation. If you don't mind. If you don't mind, why exactly do you want to destroy the testaments? You've heard their side of the story, so we'd like to hear yours now. Huh? Why? Is the testament statement not sufficient enough to explain their feud? No, it's not. Truth can easily change depending on who you talk to and what they claim they saw. The actual truth can only be brought to light once everyone's account has been thoroughly cross-examined and scrutinized. Doing so is one of my duties as a detective. Well, when you put it like that, it makes sense. So essentially, we need to analyze the case from various angles, correct? <laughs> You're a weirdo, that's for sure. Wouldn't it make things a hell of a lot easier just to assume we're the baddies? What are you saying, Wald? Listen up, you punk-ass detective. Let's say I do have that sinful you're so desperate to get. If I share it with you, what's in it for me? Well... I'm guessing you won't be satisfied with just learning the truth. <laughs> Hell no, I won't. See, I'm the kind of guy who lives off of wrecking stuff and causing uproars. 
How about this? I'll give you what you're after if you can save my bloodlust right here, right now. You out of your mind? The mic couldn't pick it up. Oh, okay. Let's have ourselves a little brawl. My gang versus yours. Kick our asses and you'll get all the info you need. Not a bad deal, right? I'm not gonna fight you, Wald. Self defense is one thing, but as members of the police, we can't participate in meaningless fights. Come on, man. Why are you being such a killjoy? <laughs> if you're that afraid of getting pummeled, how about you just leave the two ladies here instead? <laughs> you're pushing your luck. Are you serious, boss? Sorry, uh -oh. I keep forgetting I'm in. I don't know about that. It's kind of scummy, yeah. Shut up, you morons. What's the big deal? Just leave them with us for a couple of hours while the two of you go on a little walk. Do it, and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Sound good? Actually, I have a better idea. Me and you, Walt. Shouldn't be any problems if we call it a friendly scrimmage. I win. You tell me everything you know about the case. Is that good enough for you? No, wait, Lloyd, is that really a good idea? Hey, hold on a sec. A reckless idea, I must say. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Right over there looks like he'd stand a chance, but you? You're a twig compared to me. Despite how I look, I'm still a detective. I've been through plenty of training. So I don't intend to lose to some two-bit straight delinquent like you. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't think there'd be another guy stupid enough to challenge me to a fight. Okay, then, kid. Wald Wales, the Demon Smasher, leader of the Saber Vipers, accepts your challenge. If you don't think you can take me down, then show me what you got! Oh dear. What? He won? Yeah, not bad at all. How about that? Uh, looks like you ain't all talk after all. Wasn't expecting you to go at it so hard like that. Wald, are you okay? And you, you pay for that. Shut up, you dumbasses. Ah. Uh, not even human? Either way, not bad for a warm up round. For a second there, I considered going all out, but. My showdown with that pretty boy is almost here, so I'll let you off the hook this time. Ah. <sighs> how thoughtful of you. So, mind filling us in on the details of the incident now? Sure. You earned it, I guess. It all happened five nights ago. Those blue bastards jumped one of my boys. Happened right nearby here, too. Wait, what? It's just like... Hmm. 
I'm betting those cowards told you one of their own was attacked the same way. Of course, that's just something they'd pull out their asses. Us saber vipers like to throw down, but we fight like men. Do you think we bitch out and jump somebody in the dark? How badly was your guy hurt? Beat until his bones started to fracture. He's in the hospital now. Said it'll be a month or two until he's fully recovered. Unlike the blue bastards guy, he didn't pass out right after the pummeling started. He took a hell of a worse beating, that's for sure. I see. You guys definitely share the test share the testaments of the perps? If your guy is conscious right now, you must have seen who got him, yeah? Hmm? Wait, did he not even see the attackers? Guess not. It was definitely those blue bastards that bit my life on it. After all, he was sniped by some one of their rocks. A rock? Are you referring to the stones they launch with their slingshots? Damn right I am. The shot knocked him flat in his ass, so the cowards took the chance to rush in and beat him down. He hung on for a bit, then passed out. As far as I'm concerned, the culprits are obvious. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Couldn't care less about the little details. Could put an edge to that pretty boy and every last one of his blue bastards. Nothing else matters at this point. Want to interfere? Be my guest. I just have to crush you along with them. Major point, Wald. Anyway, thanks for your cooperation. I'm sure your statement will be a key in solving this case. I'll contact you if you figure anything out. Knock yourself out, kid. All right. They're all a bunch of idiots. Pretty much, but I forget Agreed. how much longer it takes to do things when we say stuff, and I did go on a little tangent earlier, so we'll end it here. So, playing by myself, it because I read a lot faster when I'm not when we're not voicing things. It didn't take as long, but voicing them does take a lot longer. So, we'll end it here. We'll just pick it back up next time. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching we're gonna end it here we'll get through the prologue next time we play so thank you guys for hanging out thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye